Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today we have our famous working car. It's called the Toyota Hilux Workmate V6. And this one have very good smart bar. This one the best for the kangaroo if you have one. Put on your car, it will be the best. Anyway, my friend's car, he's an electrician. He do air conditioning and uh, look at what he carry a lot of tools and heavy on the bumps and uh, bring here for me because he been uh, driving until the uh, brakes through the metal again that's what I guess and noise very badly at the front here when you step on the brakes so that means the brakes the dish is gone so we have to order new dish and brake patch because uh, the dish I don't think we can repair but anyway we better check it up and uh, open up and see what happened before we order the uh, patch spot while do that I have to pop up the bonnet shit <clears throat> where he put the keys he left the key here for me <clears throat> pop up the bonnet we will see what happened in the engine this is the 4 liter V6, it's very thirsty, okay? It's super thirsty, I don't know why. This day, trading boy driving this car and try to save money or make more money than they can afford it. For me, I can't afford buy this car because the petrol costs too much for this car. And it's very thirsty. Well, do that, I'm gonna check oil for him too. One thing about this car is a lot of roomy on the ute A lot of roomy. You can do a twin turbo V6 if you want Check the oil level for him later come back and um, tell him beware with the water leaking here or The radiator nearly gone So beware of that or maybe the fuel cap here the fuel cap here is a uh, leak so be careful huh very careful man but anyway we don't hear he say nothing that means we don't worry about nothing so it's uh, good still no oil leak no running for the old engine like this 2006 i think anyway check it up and see what happened for everyone have an old car or buy any old car every three or four weeks please put an eye on the oil dipstick here and check the oil level not a repeat okay always check every one month you see the dot where the level oil so make sure it reach it reach to the level here it's full see that two dot number dot number two that's the oil level and please put the car on the level place make sure the car very level and check the oil and if your car lip up the hill or down the hills will be no good just drive your car out somewhere make sure it's flat surface and uh, test okay we open up and normally when you check the brakes you open up the outside you don't see any scratch or damage or anything to the dish but you see that this here it won't out much a lot but you know normally when the brake calibers push it's always inside three are out more inside worn out more than the outside so when they push and they squeeze the um, brake pad in both of them and this one is the pull and the other one they push but again that one inside is closer to the the, 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 the clutch cylinder the, what I call the brake cylinder and that's why I push it that's why the inside is worn out more so what I do now is take it up and I will show you the inside the damage okay <coughs> and you will see the story don't talk yet just do it and you will see okay take one out same any other cars most car even electric cars or the brake system or about the same same shit okay go on here take this one out this car have a lot of roomies so you can do very easy for your car 
Okay, we uh, open the brake caliper out. You will see the using a, a, an elephant bolt with a very strong bolt, strong brakes. Okay, this one. So the long one, the long ones underneath, short one go down the bottom. Okay, take it up. Okay, here is the story, what we talked about, is it good or bad, okay? See the outside, the first right? it's like this, it's near metal, it's only size of the paper thing, the size of thin paper, and here is the inside, what we talked about, the metal scrap, this one disappear, and metal to metal. You can shave your beard with this, see? Super sharp, super sharp ads. And here is this side. Here is this side inside here, completely gone. The dish, okay? Here is what we talk about. Hey, this one. So the outside pad, outside pad here, and the inside pad go in here, the inside pad in here. When you step on the brake, this one push it out. And again, this one roll it back. So that's why this one inside always worn out. For my experience, anytime when you want to service the car or replace the brake pads, you look outside one, about four millimeter left, you start to replace your fuel rear wheel, your brake pads. Because inside it worn out. If I say four millimeter outside, that means it's only got about two millimeter inside. So you have to remember that. So if there is four millimeter outside laps on the pad inside two millimeter so better replace it okay don't let it go through metal now we take this one up and we may have to see how bad it is or uh, if it's good we still can repair or we have to get another one giant power saver energy saver see Energy saver, do all the jobs, brother. That's why I love energy saver. Cause I'm getting very old now. Getting too old and lazy. Okay, we uh, take both out, the same. Remove the dish out. And we order some parts, sorts, okay? We see if we can recycle the dish. Be honest, I love the, uh, if we can repair, we repair. Because inside here is the genuine original dish. I believe the metal inside here make better than this day. After market, the Chinese make metal is not that good. So it can be work very easy. But if you can save it, save this one. And this one work better than the new one. See the other side of the wall. We open up and we will see the other side of the moon. So this is the bright side of the moon, then the other part is the dark side of the moon, okay? Now, so moment of truth is coming. So the dark side of the moon is here. And here we go. So on the other side, this is, we see this one, this one inside. They start to stop up metal to metal. See the metal cropping around here and there. Anyway, we order one pair of shoes. We cannot um, order single pair, sing, single shoe shelves. So I have to order one will replace the dish. You better replace both, okay? Don't be dodgy. <coughs> the other side is uh, not at the worst, but uh, you have to replace anyway. So. It not go through metal yet, but this one, see the outside, two mil, the inside, only half of the mil left, see? So that's why the inside always use more than the outside. Okay, take it out and waiting for my suppliers, buy a good one and put on, brand banking new for him and uh, he will be alright. Because this is a very heavy car, you can see from the back he carry a lot of equipment tools for the air conditioning electronic yeah that's why it's super heavy and even inside the car he's still wearing all the 
see bolt nut screw everything man look at that all size of screw and bolt and all the tools are packed everything here see we're using high skill the um, korean or taiwanese i don't know i think it's korean anyway it's all good so we put them on now this day using a high skill and not bad it's using very good it's better than the uh, other brands and the high Q, high Q brake pads feel very soft when you step on the brakes. It's good. Okay, now we put them on. Roll the bearing, test the bearings. The bearing still sell alright. It's alright. If it sell no good, it's uh, no good. Okay, see our brand banking new brake pads and new. Oh. Oh, shit. I hate it man, the paper cut my finger. Even the paper can cut my my beautiful soft skin. So I have a very beautiful soft skin and the paper can even cut myself. But not. That's not fair man. Anyway, clean the oil inside. Racks on. Brakes racks. Oh and then we are bingo. One, well, make sure it's super tight because all the heavy weight, all the heavy work on the brakes here. Super tight and super strong, okay? And if you want to make sure, easy to put one bolt here holding the dish straight up because this one doesn't have the bolt up alignment here. But anyway, all good. Easy, okay? Make sure use your hammer hand, hammer hand, have a big knocking on. If you're strong, well, don't worry. If you're weak, you better slam on it. Okay, got like this. Even I'm using my lazy way. My lazy way. Metal to metal. Metal metal is hard. See? Metal to metal is hard. So meat to meat make you feeling good. Metal to metal is go hard. <coughs> so one on. Other side on. So what I do is uh, put the wheel back and then go another side and then I be finish the car. Very quickly I got the car safe for my friends. The new brake dish and patch. New brakes man. The car is very important in the brakes. If there are no brakes there will be no driving. So be careful okay. No brakes, no driving, man. See this one? See this one, they got the, the hard part in the Toyota. They got a little gap here. It's very hard to go in there. So what you do is just try to put one on first and then roll it on. And then when it's in the middle, so you can insert another one. See how it go like that. So what I do is the bottom ones, one the two on two on light properties, and you can do whatever you want. See, they are popping. See now, now you can put all of this on without any question. See, real easy, and they all online now. Okay, now you can use your gun. Okay, all on. Now we're going to uh, pump the brakes. See if the brake fluid there full and pump it until it go hot and it be all right it's okay good so you go hot now now we can put all the wheel backs and uh, ready to go see the oil level got to be go to the max so try to fill up oil now because before so super low now we press this to come out to minimum and now come back out it's still not enough so we have to put in until you see the max right there and it's safe to go and uh car still all right i just checked the oil for him already the water level all right and everything should be all right good to uh, go and uh, see the power steering fluid is a little bit low it's so go minimum now you have to go cold start to max like that okay top up the oil for the uh, power steering for him too this is the extra job for him. I want him to keep the car go very long times. 
and uh, very safe. So put another wheels on. Put the car down and uh, we will start it up and we roll it outside. And uh, no more job for this car, we'll be done. One, two, three, four, five, ten seconds. Okay, ready to go. And uh, reverse in. Reverse in the car and uh, let's drive. See how it like. The V6 version for this car has had a, some power. It's, it's had a lot of power, but the problem is it's drinking a lot of petrol. This one just done 200,000 K. And uh, yeah, for power, yes. But the thing is you have to pay more money on fuel But if you don't care, you pay more petrol You go for a V6 like this More power, more reliable than the diesel one The diesel one, later, all the diesel engine have a lot of problem with the uh, With the uh, DBF and the engine So service for the diesel engine, it costs more So if you don't mind, if you don't care about petrol Put by this one and um, it's nice and quiet, you see. You don't hear any engine noise or shaking or vibration or anything. But one thing I don't like, my friends, is uh, this one. He buy this one up the market by himself, put on. But anyway, it's all his problem. And it came up because this one cannot support this one and it always fall off. Sorry, man, I cannot help you with that. Okay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching Simon Tools and uh, this is friend's car. Friend's car, one. 200% and uh, service the uh, brake problems and it's the V6 eh? and uh, good car very powerful now it's all brand new all rail ready to go thanks for watching Simon 2 see ya